Okay, so we bring our light down to here. Thinking right about there. Park the pickup truck right here. All right. We're about ready to start up the plant. Get some get some gold moving, man. Okay, so we need to turn this thing to the right. That looks pretty good just like that. Okay, so, wash plant first. Let's get it going, man. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. I'm just going to have to dump the dirt in here from the side for now. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't. Um, I didn't actually turn the um, conveyor. We got to turn the conveyor belts on, but not nothing else. Just the conveyor belts to fill up the plant. Okay. So we'll just let this run until it completely fills up the wash plant, and then we'll turn it off and fill up the hopper, and then we'll turn that off and fill up. The Frankenstein's and then at that point then we'll be ready to run it through the plant itself all right let's get to this All right, let's check and see how full we are. Since this is my first time really using these machines, I don't have a feel quite yet. Oh crap, we're full already. Uh, I don't really have a feel yet for how fast, you know, they fill up. Okay, so yeah, I obviously lost some dirt there. I don't know how much. So I'll have to pay more attention to that. Okay. So we have more dirt coming up. That does seem to fill up pretty quickly. Okay. You know, I'm sure I don't need to do this, but I want that to be just just a smidge closer. I mean, just a gnat's eyebrow closer. Um, but let's make sure we don't have any dirt coming off of the first one, or this, well, that one down lower. And then we don't. Okay, so. There. That's all the further I'm going to move it. Um, okay. I just don't like the fact that it's right on the very edge, even though, you know, I, I think the game's taking it all anyway, but I'd feel more comfortable if it was actually going in there. <laughs> and then this, that's still probably okay, but it, it, there's no harm in extending it out, you know, another foot or so. Uh, so let's see, what is that? That's the R button. Yeah, that should be good. Just right there. Okay. Let's get back to it.
Okay, I want to go take a look at it and see how we're doing. Oh, this would seem to suggest we might be losing a little bit of dirt there. Yeah, see, that's only 34%. I like the way the dirt's going into it better, though. But I think we might be losing just a little bit of dirt down here. It sure appears that way. So let's extend this out further. That surprises me. I, I figured that would have been plenty. There. That should be good. Maybe it was fine. Maybe it was just the animation. I mean, because it was well over the hopper as it was. It just looked like it was, you know, falling out, though. Yes, it's at 100%. Okay, so what that means now is we want to turn off... this guy's belt okay and then if this works the way that I think you guys were telling me it works this should now fill up and yeah it looks like that's what's happening but we ran out of dirt on that Frankie okay cool very good so we have a full wash plant, we have a full hopper, we will fill this Frankenstein all the way up, and then we'll fill this one all the way up, and then we'll be ready to turn on the whole plant and run the dirt. Okay, so now the plan is to turn the entire plant on, and well, basically turn everything back on, and we'll see if we can get a full clean out with this i don't know if we can or not we'll see it'll be interesting it'd be nice if we could um so yeah let's make sure the water's on first it is not which it shouldn't be at this moment this pump is almost out of fuel so we need to take care of that too Uh, is this our valve? I think so. All right, why do I not see water? No, that's not our valve. It's the one with the hose coming out, you dummy. <laughs> that's our valve. Okay. There we go. Now I see green water drops. That's what you want to see. And the water is flowing. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead and start the plant and see what happens here. That'd be great if we can get like a full load. Uh, we want to just turn the whole thing on. It's already full. You're losing pay dirt. Yeah, that's probably just a temporary message. Okay, we'll turn this belt on. And we'll turn this belt on. And when this gets... Yeah, we can we should be able to dump this load now. There we go. I mean, we could even theoretically keep filling it as it's going, but I don't want to do that this first time because again, I want to see how much we can actually get first before before we do that. If it, if it gets really... See, I mean, it's already at 19, 20%. My goodness. If it gets um, really close, I mean, like if we're only off by, say, 10, 
then yeah, definitely it would be worth it to just keep working the front loader a few more times to top it off. But man, that's already, we might have more dirt than the whole plant can handle. I don't know. We'll see. So that's at 59. That's at 69. That is so cool looking, man. I love it. You're still at 88%. My goodness. Yeah, you know what? I'd, I'll bet you we're, we're going to fill this whole plant up before that dirt even runs out. That is cool, man. I love it. We'll just wait and see what happens, though. But, I mean, it's already over 30%. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's just wait and see see what happens here. Okay, so this Frank just ran out. So we'll turn the... Oh, well, it says it's out, but there's still dirt moving on it. We'll wait for the dirt to actually finish uh, transferring to the other one before we, act we turn it off. The other one's still 89%. This is crazy. And almost there. Okay, so we'll turn that conveyor off. Let's see where we are now. We are at 72%, okay? Everything's finally been moved through the wash plant, but of course it's still trickling in there. I have to tell you guys, um, this is fun. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been doing tier three and tier four for so long, you know, which basically means hauling dump truck loads out of the pit up to the plant. And now just to see this, you know, fully in action like this, this is really neat, man. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. So probably the first thing we want to turn off is the conveyor belt because it can still take, okay, we're at the 37% there, it can still take more dirt. It's only 60 some odd percent full. So yeah, when this completely fills up, turn the conveyor belt off first and then let this hopper, um, you know, fill up with whatever is left in this, uh, in the frank. Here, we're going to call this Frank number one. That's Frank number two. Okay, we're 91%. My character's being vibrated off the platform here. Okay, so we're down to 0% now on on Frank number one, but it's still spitting out dirt. I'm just thrilled that we can fill up the plant entirely with one, you know, one session of all this. Okay, turn those off. In fact, we can turn Glacier Creek off to uh, Trommel. Yeah, we can turn everything off. Let's turn it all off. Because that's running, you know, on its separate power. And then we'll just let this fill back up. Is it going to completely fill it? Nope, it's done. Okay, actually here. We can turn the belt off. And that's back up to 79%. Fantastic. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so basically, by filling up the washer, the conveyor bunker, and both of the Frankensteins, we get a full wash plant load of, of dirt and... 79% more on top of that. That is a really cool deal, man. I love it. 
That's amazing. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and do this clean out and see see what our gold count is. What are we at right now? We're at 78 ounces. Okay, uh, this dirt is quite a bit better than the dirt that we dug for the first clean out. So I'm expecting uh, more than 78 ounces. We'll put it that way. How much more? Not really sure, but we will find out. Okay, so I want to disconnect you. Wait a minute. Don't I have... I have valves for this, I, or, or, yeah, I have stuff for this. I just don't remember which one to do. So I think if we disconnect this, what's that turn off? Maybe that's the one that has to stay connected. Okay, so that turns off the main wash plant water. And this... Uh, don't we have to keep this one plugged in though? Because we're running, yeah, we have to keep it plugged in for this. So I think all we do here is just disconnect these. This is only the second time I've done a clean out on this particular plant and I haven't played the game in a couple weeks. So that's why I'm a little fuzzy on all this. Okay. Very nice. Now, what do we do next? <laughs> Uh, I think first thing we need to do is go up here and do these buckets. Or this bucket, I should say. Um, one, one of the things I think I might do is I might speed the time back up now. Um, because that's what's going to get us more workers, you know, more quickly. Um, so I think we will do that after, after this episode... We'll speed that time back up because that's the one thing I don't have is, you know, a full complement of workers. And it's just because I have played this entire playthrough so far, except for towards the beginning, I've played in, in real time. And, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to doing it that way, for those of you who may not know. The advantage is, um, you you know, you pay less in interest and fees uh, by virtue of the fact that you can get a whole lot more gold moved to your plant and processed in a day if you're doing it in real time. The disadvantage primarily is that you only get one, maybe two workers that become available in a, in a game day. And so, you know, if you if you have it set on real time and, and you don't have that time speed up, it takes forever to get get your workers. Um, so, yeah, that's that's primarily the disadvantage to doing it that way. OK, so we want to put you in here. And we'll start you up. Uh, OK, why? You know what? Maybe I wasn't supposed to disconnect. Wait a minute. That should have water. It does have water. It shows it's got water right there. So why isn't it turning on? That's weird. Um, okay, let's... Oh, power. I cut the power to it. That's what happened. Okay. I was like, going, what the heck's going on here, man? And yeah, we can't turn all of the power off. We need, I think we need the power splitter on. Right, so that should be what's powering all of this stuff down here. Hey, it's amazing what happens when you actually turn the power on. How about that, huh? Uh-oh. I screwed up. I Oh, no. I didn't put the... Oh, no. I didn't put these uh, hog pen mats or <laughs> miner's mosses back in this. What the heck? How did I forget to do that? And where are they? 
Wait a minute. Hold on. Something's fishy here. Doesn't, uh... Doesn't the game tell you if... Like, you know, bring up a warning message if you don't have this all put back together when you start the plant? I don't remember seeing that message. And more importantly, where the heck are the mats at? Oh, they're still in here. Oh, I'm such a noob. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody just do a massive face palm. Go ahead. Just do it. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, all right. Well, whatever gold we're going to get out of this, we're not going to get the full compliment because I royally screwed up here. <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe I did that. I mean, I can, you know. It's me, right? Okay, well, it is what it is. We're not doing leaderboard anything, so it's not really that big of a deal, but it kind of sucks, though. So we won't really be able to see what kind of gold we're going to be able to get until the next clean-out. Daggone it. That sucks. Ugh. Can't take me anywhere, you guys. Yeah, I was just walking up in there, and I saw the grills down there, and I'm going, wait a minute, what are those doing down there? They should be in the thingamadoodle. Okay, well, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it now, but move on. Um, okay, so let's stop you and put you in the wave table. We can get another bucket load in there, so we'll wait on that. So we got the upper thing, and now let's do these mats next. I guess we can set those up there, right? Oh, no, actually, before that, I want to do the gravel pump buckets next. Yeah, let's do those next. That sucks, man. We're not going to be able to, to see how much gold we get out of our first hot spot dig. Not to mention, you know, what was wasted. <sighs> Crap. Well, again, can't do anything about it, but try not to do it again, right? It's all you can do, man. Okay, we'll get that started. Now let's jump up here. And let's see, we have to duck down to get those in the... This isn't the ideal setup but it's kind of the the one I came up with and it works it's just I gotta do a bunch of crouching and jumping all right I got 32 ounces of gold out of that okay let's start putting the hog mats in here these are full here so we'll do them first and we'll dump this bucket over here wave table is finished another 14 ounces of gold another 14 ounces of gold All right, so all of these mats are only 1% full. It's not even worth processing them. We'll just leave them as they are. Oh, I was going to check what the issue is with the textures all messed up on that, too. And I never got there. Um, oh, actually, hold on. First thing we got to do is put these guys back. I'm not in a... Come on, get up there. I'm not in a good rhythm yet because, here again, this is only my second time doing a clean-out on this plant. But we'll get there. Not to mention my groove totally got thrown off by my screw up there. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I'm just a little mildly irritated with myself, but stuff happens, right? What can you do? Okay, we'll put the 
drills back on. It's not going to happen next time because we already got it put together on that side. And this side's put together, we're good to go. Um, okay, so let's turn you off. And grab you and dump you in here. And then we'll keep loading, uh, or start loading this guy up on this side. Trying to get to that. Oh man, that's kind of a pain in the butt to get to that, that mat there. There we go. It's a good thing I'm not in a hurry, man. Okay, these mats are fully saturated. One point three six ounces? Really? That's all we got. Hmm. Maybe it isn't worth it to do the hog pins. All right, yeah. Let's see what this bucket comes up with. One point nine four ounces. Okay. Really? I've never I guess I've never really paid close attention to that because I always kind of just do the hog mats and the and the big mats together. But you're telling me we got less than four ounces from both of those hog pans? That seems that seems awfully low considering the time it takes to have to process them each time. I mean, if this was, if we were still just barely starting with tier three, it would be worth a bit. I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. Should I, should I keep doing the hog pans or, or, or scrap it? I mean, you know, we're the, we're in the big time now and you know, less than four ounces of gold is frankly not really worth the extra time. I think that it takes to process all these. Because, you know, let's say we were in a hurry. We're not, but let's say we were. Let's say we're doing the contest, uh, leaderboard or whatever. And we, you know, the, it, over the period of, say, like 10 cleanouts, we, let's say we get three and a half ounces. So that's 35 ounces of gold. But, you know, I spend maybe an hour all told, probably not an hour, but let's, let's say 30 extra minutes messing with these when I could instead be back out there digging in the good dirt for another 30 minutes and probably bringing in another 100 ounces. That's kind of how I'm looking at it, you know, because time is money kind of thing. So I don't know, man. That just, I, I guess it, I, it hadn't occurred to me or I hadn't really checked to see that we were getting that small of amount of gold from the hog pans. And, you know, the pros that play this game all the time, they don't do the hog pans, and I can now I can see why. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments about that before we decide to nix it. Um, but yeah, that's disappointing, man. Anyway, we have a total of 144 ounces of gold, which means we only, what did we have? 78. So we got 70. Yeah, we didn't get very much gold out of that. In fact, to see 78 and 70 would be 148 we didn't even get 70 ounces but it's because i screwed up up here that's why i mean we lost a whole mess of gold from that uh you know not having that that stuff in there these mats here and um yeah these mats here have the most you get the most gold out of those out of everything the hog pen mats uh, at least, you know, you do in the Tier 3 and Tier 4 setup, and I'm assuming it's the same with Tier 5. So, you know, we lost a huge amount of gold by not having that in place. Okay. Well, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about should we keep the hog pans or not. You know, one one point of view is, hey, you know, every every little bit counts, but on the but if you look at it from a time-is-money point of view, it's not worth it. 
absolutely not worth it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'd like to hear from you guys though before we make any decisions. Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna let you go here. This was a great episode. <clears throat> it was neat to see the Frankenstein's in action the way they're supposed to be used, <laughs> which means I wasn't really using them correctly, you know, in the last episode. But I did this time, and I'm I'm really pleased and you know, kind of kind of stoked to see how they actually work. How'd you get down here? Um. And it's really cool, you know, that we can get a full plant slowed and then some, you know, with with the those four loads that we kind of pre-did. So I'm liking that a lot. So let's see, what's the plan for the next episode? The plan for the next episode is probably just to keep digging out the hot spot and seeing how much, you know, uh, gold we can get when we're doing a full thingamadoodle. Now, keep in mind that I don't have... I, I don't really have very many worker, workers at all. In fact, I only have almost all my workers are hog pen workers, which kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, I have mechanics and other stuff like that, but I mean, workers actually processing the gold. So, um, yeah, th this is where we are. We started digging into here. Wait, we're on Nighthawk, right? And yeah. So we still have these pretty rich places here with quite a bit of gold inside of them. Uh, that has almost 700 ounces. That has almost 700 ounces. That has almost 600. So we're going to be clearing out, you know, basically this area here. And um, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see how much gold uh, we can pull out of those spots now with our full Tier 5 setup, minus, again, the workers. Because um, they, they definitely help too, but we have to kind of... We have to kind of keep it in, uh, what's the word? Compare apples to apples, I suppose. Um, you can't compare a full tier five clean out with virtually no workers versus one that had the workers. So anyway, I'm curious to see how much gold we'll actually be able to pull out of here. So that, that'll be fun. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.